right, welcome everybody. Come on in, come on in. Swipe and share, invite followers. Amen. God is good. I was just watching some of Prophet Young Scope. I just got home from church and the glory started to manifest and people are getting killed. I give God praise. So just come on, swipe, share. Yeah, it was powerful. I want to go back and watch the replays of everyone's scopes. Amen. I know it was awesome. Listen, are you ready to get high in God? Glory to God. We're going to get high in God. Amen. So come on now. Let's, let's, just get, let's get the momentum going. Amen. We're going to get high in God. Amen. And I'm not going to really teach. I'm going to demonstrate to, whoo, Jesus. I start to feel fire up in here. I start to feel the winds of God. My God. So I'm excited. You know, I'm going to go ahead and put my timer on. I'm going to go ahead and set it for about 30 minutes. Go ahead and swipe and share. Amen. A lot of people are getting ready to get healed. You know, God's going to fill my mouth. A lot of people are probably going to get prophetic words. I don't know. Amen. What God's going to do. So let's just get this, you know. Let's get the momentum up. Amen. So, God, we just thank you that Jesus is Lord and Messiah and that the kingdom of God is here. In Jesus' name. Come on, people of God. I said the kingdom of God is here. Listen, you know, the name of the scope is demonstrating a power in authority. Amen. It's demonstrating a power in authority. And I want to tell you guys that the kingdom of heaven is within you. Amen. And the kingdom of heaven is not only in word, but it's in demonstration. It is worth some power. Amen. So I want to prophesy that the glory of God is going to come tonight, that the power of God is going to come tonight in, in, a, in a mighty way. Amen. So. I'm going to give you six synonyms, six synonyms for the word power. Amen. Greek words for power. Y'all heard of Kratos, you know, Deutimus, uh, Ezusia, amen. Uh, um, um, Archie is another one called uh, Energia and it's cuss or whatever like that. And you can get all this teaching in my notes. I'm not going to even go out the notes. I just want to have fun tonight. Amen. So God, we just give you praise tonight. We give you honor. We give you glory. So just like Pastor Jennifer started off, she said, when, you know, you begin to preach the kingdom, then signs and wonders will follow. Amen. And that's the last thing I heard before I have to go through, uh, go to Bible study. Amen. But listen, Holy Lord, it's going to give me one quick scripture and then I'm going to get into whatever Holy Spirit wants to do. Amen. But we're going to have fun tonight. So listen to this. Amen. God has given each and every one of us, you know, authority. To, to do miraculous things, amen, greater things than we should do than what Christ has done. How many people believe that tonight, amen? How many people believe that God wants to use you to go out and, and lay hands on the sick and they should recover? How many people believe that God wants to do the supernatural through you, amen? I'm talking to some people tonight that got some crazy faith, you know? So let, let me give you this word really, really quickly. You know, I'm going to show you a quick pattern, and then I'm going to get into, uh, you know, we're going to have fun. Listen, so in, in Matthew 4 and 23, you know, Jesus, he is our imitator. Uh, we're supposed to, we, we, excuse me, we're supposed to be imitating Christ Jesus, the things that he has did. So when Jesus went to Galilee, he was teaching in the synagogue, and he was preaching the kingdom. Amen? And then when he started teaching the kingdom, you know, every sickness, you know, got healed. Amen? In his sight. Uh, I didn't care. I didn't care what it was. It, it didn't matter what it was. Amen. The same pattern in, in Matthew 9 and 35, Matthew 9 and 35. It says, Jesus, he went through all the towns and in the villages, teaching in the synagogues, preaching the kingdom and healing every disease and every sickness. Amen. So that's powerful. So I want to preach the kingdom tonight. Amen. And I want to prophesy that the kingdom of God is here and that Jesus Christ is Lord and, you know, Savior. Amen. And he's going to have his way on tonight. Amen. And let me see what else what I want to teach tonight. So when we begin to teach the kingdom, amen, you know, like Pastor Jennifer said, um, I think she quoted uh, Matthew 10, verses 7 and 8. You know, heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely you have received and freely, you know, we're going to give tonight. Amen. And it says, if you, you go down to Matthew 16 and 17 through 18. It says, these signs and wonders shall follow them that believe. And Jesus says, in my name, you should cast out devils. You should speak with new tongues. You should take up serpents. If you drink anything deadly, it will not harm you. If you lay hands on the sick, it shall recover. Amen. So, you know, I really, really recap and then I'm going to get into prayer. Amen. And I, I start to feel God. I start to feel his fire up on this and, you know, in, in, in this atmosphere. So, you know, I, I, I told you there are six synonyms for the Greek word of power. 
all right? There's Deutimus, there's Azusia, there's Arche, there's Kratos, there's Energia, there's Iskras, uh, you know, it's, it's powerful, amen? And I, I don't have time to teach it tonight, all right? I don't want this to be a teaching scope. I just want to flow with the Holy Spirit, amen? But you can go to my magazine, Rejoice the Central Magazine, and check out this teaching for next month. It's going to be all in there. I'm going to have good, good notes and break it down for you guys. So, listen, hallelujah. Who on here needs prayer right quick? Who on here needs prayer, amen? Is anybody on here sick? Uh, I heard the word stomach ailments. Who, 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 who's sick? Who has uh, issues with their stomach? God wants to heal your stomach on tonight. Who's sick? Who needs, um, before I call some names out, I heard sickness in stomach, stomach ailments. Whose stomach is hurting tonight? Amen? Because God wants to heal your stomach. How many people believe that? Amen? If, you're, if you have stomach ailments, I feel the fire God in your belly. Is that you, angel? Uh, 2871 uh, and Debbie 43? You know, if you're if you're sick, you know, if you have stomach ailments, please get up and move. Amen. You know, I saw the glory of God manifesting on Prophet Young Scope and God was healing backs. But God is starting off and he I cursed diverculosis. I can't pronounce it. Diverculosis at the root. I cursed it at the root in Jesus name. And I sent forth the fire of God upon you. And I need you to get up, please, and move right now in the name of Jesus. I need you to get up and move right now in the name of Jesus. Listen, you're going to start to feel heat and your body going to start to feel warmth. Amen. A person that said they had diverticulocus. I can't pronounce that word, but please get up because I start to feel the fire of God really, really strong burning in several of you um, bellies. I heard I heard seven. It's, it's, a, uh, it's about seven of you that have stomach ailments right now. I heard that word so clear, and that's what God wants to heal right now. Amen. And then we're going to launch into the prophetic or wherever Holy Spirit leads me. Amen. But I'm trying to get your healing to manifest. Amen. Hallelujah. So please get up. What do you feel? in your stomach if you feel that anointing you feel that fire let me know amen so we can uh give god praise amen for your healing miracle in jesus name and god we just thank you father god i curse uh, diabetes at the root in jesus name and i pray for our children amen i pray for our children to be saved and, and, and delivered in jesus name and i just cancel every demonic attack in in jesus name god lord god i curse hip pain at the root please get up Sweet holder, amen. You got to put a demand on the anointing. You got to put a demand on God, amen. And I prophesy as you begin to move, amen, that that that, that anointing is going to hit you, amen. That anointing is going to hit you in Jesus' name, amen. Who feels heat in their belly that is prayed for, amen. I pray that your marriage is already blessed, it's already restored, amen. God is saying, if you praise me, he said, it's already done, amen. Hallelujah. Who feels that, who feels that, uh, Warmth in their belly. God, I just give you praise. Hallelujah. Yes, amen. Your marriage is already blessed. I decree it so in Jesus' name. The word of God says if you decree a thing, it shall be established. And, you know, his light will shine upon all of our ways. Amen. Hallelujah. I start to feel fire like really, really strong in bellies right now. I, I curse the walker in the wheelchair at the root. I curse that deaf and the, that lame spirit. I, I curse it at the root in Jesus' name. We bind up the strong man of infirmity and we send forth the fire of God in, in Jesus' name. Amen. And please, please get up. Amen. Please, uh, I want you to exercise your faith and you're going to see God move. Amen. Yes. Um, Christy, W, uh, S, T, hallelujah, I just, I break any discouragement off of you, um, if it's freezing, go out and come back in, amen, if it's freezing, go out and come back in, hallelujah, you know, th th this word is for Christy, I think it was S, W, T, Lord God, I just lift up Christy right now, and, uh, I rebuke discouragement, I know you've been really, really, really discouraged, I rebuke that in the name of Jesus, you know, this is a season where the Lord is really stretching your faith, and he says you're going to begin to do things that you thought you could never do, you're saying, who, me, how can I ever do this, but the Lord is saying, daughter, I'm teaching you to see yourself the way I see you, amen, he says, you will no longer have to compare yourself. He says he has a great plan and a great future for your life. Amen. So you don't have to, you don't, you don't have to ever compare yourself. Amen. Listen, the things that God is getting ready to do for you in this word is for, I think it's Christy 
SWT. The things that God is getting ready to do in your life is going to be simply amazing. Amen. Simply amazing. You know, God says it's going to pour such an anointing upon you. Do you hear what I'm saying to you, woman of God? Amen. Don't worry about the people that walked out your life. Amen. If God is for you, woman of God, who can be against you? Amen. If God is for you, who can be against you? Amen. Hallelujah. So, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, I just thank you that you just have your way, God, on tonight. Hallelujah, Lord God. Hallelujah. And said man, when I see you, said man, I just hear that um, the, the trouble stops. Amen. You know, I don't I don't know what was going on recently, but I literally heard when I saw when I saw your name, the trouble stops. Amen. And the Lord wants me to tell you like he's really sabotaging the plans of the enemy. It's like you wanted to get frustrated recently. But the Lord says the trouble stops. Amen. Jesus, I feel the fire God on this. Amen. The trouble literally stops. You know, you are not going to get frustrated. Amen. Literally, the Lord is sabotaging the attacks of the enemy. Amen. The Lord is literally going to place the enemy underneath your feet in, in Jesus name. That's right. If you have emotional damage in your heart, I, I, I need you to lay hands on your heart right now in Jesus name. Lay hands on your heart right now in Jesus name. Amen. And I send forth the fire of God right now in Jesus name. And I, I curse any emotional damage up at the root in the name of Jesus. Amen. I curse it up at the root in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And, and you know, I feel a lot of people right now, you feel electricity in your heart. Who feels electricity in your heart? Who feels warmth in their heart right now? Right now, it's, my, my face is literally on fire right now. Who, who, who feels warmth in their heart? I sent forth the fire of God right now to touch every broken heart in the name of Jesus. Amen. Who feels that warmth in their heart? Amen. God, God just healed some stomachs. And also, um, he's healing emotions right now in your heart. Amen. I, I come against rejection. I, I come against the, the spirit that's causing uh, the people to be depressed and suicidal. I rebuke that in, in, in the name of Jesus. Amen. And if somebody on here, you have like pain in your, your left leg. Amen. It's like really something in your, like your left knee. Who are you? It's something in your left knee. It's almost numb. And it, you have like... Your, your left knee is like really stiff. It's something in your left knee. Who are you? Because God wants to heal you right now. It's, it's in your left knee. Who is it? In your left knee. Come on. Don't be, don't be, you know, afraid. Amen. God wants to heal you. Something in your left knee. If it's freezing, come out and come back in. The connection is bad. Let me see. Can y'all hear me? Do I need to come out and come back in? Is it freezing? Is it freezing? Can y'all hear me? If y'all can hear me, say, yes, I hear you. You hear me? Well, God, we just take authority on, over the scope in, in Jesus' name. Okay, somebody has... Um, Somebody has pain in their left knee. It hurts really bad. Who are you? Who has left knee pain? I'm probably going to come out and come back in. Somebody has left knee pain. I feel it so strong. Amen. I pray for God to heal your emotions in, in Jesus' name. But God, I thank you, Father God, that whoever has left knee pain, Lord God, I, 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 that sh is that you, MDS zero eight zero nine zero eight, Amen. Please get up. Can you please move? And all that stiffness is going to move. All that stiffness is going to break. And actually, as you move, I, I start to feel the fire of God in my knees. So please move and get up in Jesus' name, Amen. Come on, please get up. Woman of God, Eddie, Eddie George. Okay, this sounds okay. Okay, yes, move. The one that said I can. It's freezing real bad. 
Yeah, I could tell it was freezing because I'm getting back comments. Okay. Okay, please, please move. Hey, man, if somebody else got uh, pain in their left side, who has pain in their left side? God wants to heal you of that. Yes. The enemy's already defeated. Amen. Somebody has pain in their left side and somebody has something wrong with their right foot. Come on, God wants to God wants to heal right now. I feel it so strongly. I just come against every distraction in the name of Jesus. Lord, I plead the blood of Jesus on the scope. And God, we take authority over this connection in Jesus' name. And I decree that Jesus is Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. God, we just give you praise, Lord God. So, somebody give God praise up in this place. Amen. Somebody just give God his glory. Amen. Amen. Listen, if you have pain in your knee, Marissa, please get up. Amen. God wants to heal you right now. The lady in the wheelchair, I curse that lame spirit off of you in the name of Jesus. And I speak strength to your leg. Amen. She said the pain is gone. Amen. Now give God praise. Amen. Somebody on here, you have pain in the left side. Who are you? God wants to heal you. And not only does somebody have pain in their left side, somebody else has pain in their right foot. Who are you? Amen. And, and I just hear shoulder pain. Who has pain in, 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 in their shoulder? Amen. The pain is gone. That's why I curse cancer at the root in Jesus' name. Amen. Who has pain in their shoulder? Is my connection okay? Come on, people of God. Maybe I'm going to move. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll just move. Amen. How much time I have? Let me just walk. Amen. You have shoulder pain. Please get up right now. God's going to heal you. Somebody, you have pain in, in, in your right. It's like your right upper thigh. Amen. Somebody on here, you just had a stroke. You're recovering from stroke. And God is touching you right now. Do you believe that? Amen. Please get up. Please get up right now in Jesus' name. That's better. Okay, I'm just going to walk. I'm just going to move. Amen. Somebody has sharp pain. You know, and, and, and it's on your right side. The sharp pain, it's like sharp leg pain. What, like your, your thigh. Who is that? Yeah, pain. God is healing your right shoulder. Whoever, whoever has right shoulder pain, God is healing that right now. Amen. You're going to start to feel warmth on your right shoulder. God is healing your right shoulder right now. Amen. Whoever said they had shoulder pain, what do you feel on you? I, I curse autism off your son in Jesus' name. I curse it off at the root in Jesus' name. Curse it. Amen. God, we just give you praise, Lord God. Hallelujah. We just give you glory. All right, the, the connection's good. I just had to get up. I had to go in my kitchen, y'all. Woo! Amen. You have you have dirt you have de nerve damage in your right thigh. Please get up. Please get up right now. Um, that just girl, please get up. I felt like something in my right thigh. It didn't, it didn't feel good. I cursed fibromyalgia at the root in Jesus' name. You're right. You have pain in your right foot. I felt that. God's gonna heal that right foot. Please get up. If you can move, Amen. God's gonna heal it. Amen. These are the things that God is calling out. Amen. Somebody had right foot pain. You're going to be healed today. If you just obey the prophet and move. Amen. You know, uh, somebody had right pain in the right thigh. You're going to be healed tonight. Please move. Amen. I'm telling you, underneath this anointing, you got to move while God is moving. Amen. I'm, I'm working your miracles tonight. All right. A lot of people have stomach ailments. You're going to get healed tonight. All right. Um, God doesn't care what uh, condition it is. I don't care if it's diverticulitis or uh, indigestion. Uh, whatever it is, you know, ulcers, I curse it at the root in the name of Jesus. That's right. Please get up. And I send forth the fire of God upon everybody that's getting up and moving and putting a demand on God in, in Jesus' name. Amen. Please get up in Jesus' name. I curse fibers at the root. God heals fibers in his ministry all the time. Amen. I curse it up at the root in Jesus' name. 
Amen. I command every growth, every cancer, every tumor to die by the fire of God in Jesus' name. Amen. Who, who has allergies? I heard allergies. Some people right here, you have bad allergies. God said he wants to kill your allergies. Amen. I heard allergies. Who has allergies? I curse black home at the root. I send forth the fire of God and I just break any allergies off of your people, Lord, in, in Jesus' name. Amen. Your kids has allergies. I, I rebuke that in Jesus' name. I rebuke allergies off of Liz there in Jesus' name. You're going to be healed tonight. Amen. Um, matter of fact, if you have allergies, t take, you know, take a sip of water. Just step out on faith and take a sip of water. And I prophesy, you know, as you just obey, hallelujah, something miraculous is going to happen. Amen. And I start to feel the fire all in your chest. God is, uh, he's touching that chest code and it's coming out. Amen. He's opened up nasal cavity, uh, passages right now. Amen. You know, I feel tension all right here. If that's you, please get up. It's all in your right shoulder. Please get up in Jesus' name. And God wants to heal you tonight. Amen. How many how many people feel God on here? How many people how many people feel uh, uh the fire of God touching them? Amen. So somebody's been having uh dizzy spells. I curse that at the root in Jesus' name. Amen. I, I speak healing over your people. In Jesus' name, I just bind up every demonic attack. In the name of Jesus, I bind up every demonic uh, stronghold. In the name of Jesus, Satan, get your hands off these people. In the name of Jesus, you have no right. You have no authority to, to, to mess with these people. In Jesus' name. Lord God, I thank you, Father God, that you have your way, God. On this scope, I come against any connection issues. I come against any connection problems. In the name of Jesus, some of y'all done went through hell and back. Some of you done suffered long enough. I want to prophesy. This is your time for a miracle. This is your time for you to receive everything that you believe in God for. There is power in agreement. There is power when we lift up the name of Jesus. There is power when we preach the gospel. Amen. Preach the kingdom. Amen. We're not going to settle. We're not going to take the bait. We're not going to get frustrated by the enemy. Amen. I, I need you people of God to receive your killing. Amen. I speak to that lame spirit that's on that woman in the wheelchair. I curse you at the root. And I send you an eviction notice. Now you got to get out. Uh, get off get off of her in the name of Jesus. That lady in the wheelchair. Amen. You're going to start to feel some uh, sensation back in those legs. Well, who are, where are you? I forgot your name. You say you were bound to the wheelchair. Amen. I literally feel some sensation in, in my legs for you. Amen. Where are you? Amen. The girl that says uh, Carlington GA. What do you feel in those legs? Let me know what you feel in those legs. Amen. I don't know why it's freezing tonight. The enemy's just mad, but he cannot stop what God wants to do. Amen. Yes, if you if you need healing in your mind, lay, lay hands on your mind right now in Jesus' name. Lay hands on your mind right now. And I just bind the mind of Christ to your mind in Jesus' name. I just uproot every demonic seed that was planted in Jesus' name. And I send that stuff back to the pits of hell. Amen. No weapon formed against us will prosper in Jesus' name. Who on here got, um, uh, I heard kidney failure. Did some, somebody on here, you got diagnosed with kidney failure. You know somebody, uh, that got diagnosed with kidney failure. Somebody on here, you got diagnosed with kidney failure. Is that you with kidney failure? I cursed about the root in Jesus' name. I literally felt pain, sharp pain in, in my lower back. Amen. And God is healing you right now. I cursed, I, I, you was diagnosed. Well, I, I curse it up. I curse it at the root in Jesus' name. I bind up the, the strong man of infirmity. I renounce every negative curse word you spoke out of your mouth. Every negative curse word the doctor spoke over you, saying you had kidney failure. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. And I come into agreement with the word of God that says, by your stripes, he is already killed. Amen. Listen, please. Um, the lady, um, she said that she was diagnosed. What do you feel in that lower back? Amen. You're going to feel, um, you're going to feel, uh, Warmth. God is touching your, your you right now. Tell me what you feel. Amen. God is touching you right now in, in, in your lower back. Amen. 
and I speak for everybody on here that um you know that you relate you feel it amen y'all give God praise Y'all give God praise. Amen. She says she feels. I feel it too, woman of God. I believe you're going to heal. What are you feeling in your legs? The lady that said, I feel it. You're going to feel something in your legs. Amen. I feel something. I feel something. Um, I feel sensation in my legs for you. Like you're getting some sensation back in your legs. Amen. And I want to prophesy strength upon you. In Jesus name. And everybody on here that's connected. Uh, that you say you 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 don't feel anything, Amen. It's there. It's, it's coming, Amen. If you, if you feel it in your back, that means God is on you right now, Amen. I want to prophesy to everybody that said my aunt, my cousin. I know somebody that had kidney failure. I want to prophesy healing over them in Jesus' name, Amen. We we we, we renounce every negative curse word, um, Jesus in Jesus' name. Listen, I heard this. Somebody uh, terminal. Somebody somebody. You're on here, or either you know somebody. Three months. Somebody gave. The, I heard a doctor's report in the spirit. Three months to live. Three months to live. Who who are you? Somebody's terminal on here. It's like you got three months to live, or you know somebody. Three months to live. Your mother has kidney failure. I rebuke that in Jesus' name. I I, I bind up death in Jesus' name. Somebody on here. Somebody connected to somebody on here. You know, you're literally terminal. And, and, and I heard, like, the doctor said you got, like, three months to live. I renounce that in the name of Jesus. I'm, I'm hearing in, in, in the spirit. I rebuke that in Jesus' name. I, I prophesy you should live and not die and, and, and declare the works of the Lord in Jesus' name. That's your father. I rebuke that off of you. Your, your, your cousin, Tina, was given three months. I rebuke that in Jesus' name. I, I speak over Tina. I speak over the woman of God's father. I speak over your aunt. You know, I, I curse that terminal diagnosis off of them in the name of Jesus. And Lord God, touch. Come on, people of God, agree. Touch in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Lord, that they'll be healed right now. And I speak long life, God. I, I decree and declare Psalms 91, 16, that you, God, will uh, show them long life and show them your salvation in, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. God, just give you praise, Lord, in, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Did somebody on here get burnt? Somebody got a burn on them? They believe in God to heal? Did somebody just get burnt or something? Like you believe in God to heal you of a burn? You know, it's a burn on, it has to be on the left, it's like the left, your left lower leg, some kind of burn. I speak healing over you in the name of Jesus. I pray for the person that put something up with their dad in, in Jesus' name. Amen. And I heard this alcoholism. You know, you don't have to tell me your business, but it's a, it's like, it's three. I heard three. It's three of you on here. You're struggling with alcoholism, like alcohol addiction. I break that addiction off of you in the name of Jesus. Amen. I break that addiction off of you in the name of Jesus. Amen. I sent forth the fire of God. Amen. I prophesy that you're not going to even look at alcohol again. This is the same way in Jesus' name. You're going to lose the taste out of your mouth in, in Jesus' name. Amen. We just pray over her twin sister. I, I pray freedom. We're the spirit of the Lord. There's freedom. God, touch her wherever she's at in, in Jesus' name. But who got burnt on here? Somebody has a burn. You just got burnt or something. Like some kind of burn or something. You know? I rebuke that in Jesus. Now, I broke uh, smoke addiction off of you in the name of Jesus. I, cu I curse ADHD at the root in Jesus' name. God, I pray for confidence in, in Jesus' name. Um, God's favor, Lynn 2009. What's your name? God's favor, Lynn 2009. What's your name? Tell me your name. Goslin Favor 2009, tell me your name. Amen. I'm going to give you this word right quick. I rebuke alcohol addiction off of you in Jesus' name. Tell me your name quickly. I, I, it's, it's Cheryl. Sherlin. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Hallelujah. 
woman of God, I see you um, in the realm of the spirit. I, I see you like, you know how like a, a bowling, you know how you go bowling and it knocks all the pins down. But I see like the enemy is trying to, you know, knock, you know, the pins down. Amen. Like you're like, I can't explain it. Like you're a pin and everything around you. The enemy's trying to knock down, but you're still standing. Amen. And I literally see the Lord, you know, he's uh, causing you to arise. He's causing you to uh, soar above the adversity. You have to learn things through the things that you, obedience through the things that you suffered. You went through many persecutions. Amen. But let me tell you something. And I almost want to call you a teacher. You got a strong, strong, strong teaching anointing on your life. And, 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 and the, you say you heard that before. Um, and, and the Lord wants to deal with your confidence. Amen. You know, when the Lord begins to speak to you, listen. He says, don't even worry about what you should say because in that hour, I'm, I'm going to fill your mouth. Amen. He says, in that hour, I'm going to fill your mouth. You know, you had a vision. You know, you saw yourself standing in front of crowds. Crowds and crowds of people. And, you know... My timer's going off, y'all. Amen. And, and the vision of, of, of the Lord is, is going to come to pass. Amen. The, the vision is, is going to come to pass. All right. So it's going to happen. You know, the Lord says it's going to equip you with everything. It's the word is for Sherlin. He says it's going to equip you for everything. Amen. You're going to begin to look at scriptures and you're just going to uh, have a newfound revelation of things. Amen. The Lord says he's going to fill your mouth is going to even begin to start speaking to you prophetically in dreams yep she she said she had that amen so pastor jennifer do you want me to stop or do you want me to keep going pastor jennifer jones i don't know if you're still on here but you let me know god i pray right now in the name of jesus for everybody that wants to get filled lord in five more minutes okay i'm gonna put my timer for five more minutes okay i pray right now just lift hands people of god Amen. I pray right now that everybody wants to get filled with your presence, filled with the Holy Spirit. Lord God, I pray right now that you fill us up in the name of Jesus. God, I pray right now for strength upon your people in Jesus' name. You know, a lot of people have been frustrated. A lot of people have been weary. A lot of people have been sick and tired. I rebuke, you know, the attacks of the enemy off of you in the name of Jesus. I come to uproot and destroy down every demonic stronghold in Jesus' name. And this is what the Lord says. He says, my children. Children, I am pouring out strength right now. If you want strength right now from God, and I almost saw fire flash across my eyes when I said that. I need you to lift hands right now. This thing is freezing. Lift hands right now in Jesus' name. And God says he's going to fill you with strength in Jesus' name. He's going to literally fill you with his strength in Jesus' name. Lift hands. A lot of hands are going to get hot. You're going to start to feel fire on your hands. You're going to start to feel God's presence overwhelm you in Jesus' name. And Lord God, we thank you, God, for your strength. God is saying, I'm pouring strength. He says, I'm pouring strength upon my people. He says, I'm giving my people peace. He says, I'm going to strengthen my people. Amen. He says, he, through me, they're going to begin to achieve things that thought they could never achieve. Amen. He says, through me. He says, you're going to achieve things that you thought you could never achieve. How many people believe that? But receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Receive it in Jesus' name. Receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. So God, we just give you praise, Lord God. Lord, for strength upon your people. Lord God, I curse any pain. And I, I come against any backlash. I come against any retaliation in Jesus' name. Amen. Some people right now, you're going to begin to walk. Amen. You're gonna, I'm telling you, you're going to begin to walk in God as never before. You know, signs and wonders are going to follow you as never before. You're going to demonstrate his kingdom. Amen. As never before. Get ready. Get ready for the supernatural. I 